Welcome to the Sean Linton Talk Show. I'm your host, Dr. Linton. Hope you're well and all right, yeah? And I would like to talk to you just quickly, 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 up and close with the power of truth and light, you know? I would, I've often time asked about um, what is truth and what is lie, what really is truth. Now, I would like to tell you, um, and I know all of us are believers, uh, uh, you know, our listeners, are not um, Christians, but I would also like to, I was in Ireland last week um, in, um, and uh, traveling from the hotel to my, um, to the airport on Monday, last Monday, is that um, the taxi driver, he was, he was an atheist, but we were talking and he said, and these are the words he said, oh, I believe every word he said, he said, you're not preaching to me, you're not talking to me. When I left, he said, you're first class. Now, what we are trying to say is that truth is not necessarily saying all of your business. You know, truth then telling you my nitty gritty, blah, blah, blah. no. Truth is letting you know um, what, what is light, what is necessary, what is what God says. You know what I'm saying? So, when I, if, okay, let me give you an example. If I am, if I have got truth in me, right? I will not then go and persecute somebody else that pretend to be that they're not. It's like you got a Catholic fighting the Protestants. That is just total hypocrisy. Is what I'm gonna say. These are just two ignorant people that really, really, and I said it with respect because I love Ireland very much. But it is truly people that have not got the um, the knowledge of what it is. It's like. Um, Pakistan against India. Now, when you search history, there was no Pakistan. Pakistan never existed. It was only India, you know, and Gandhi that was educated and who was from the aristocracy that could have stayed there, but went back to India and decided that he will not mix and drink tea in the hot sun, even though you were fanned and you'll be cool. And like the before AC, you would have AC because the other Indian would have fanned him and fanned him from flies and he would have been well taken care of like the English. You know, we got um, the British that was there as an ambassador and as, um, as diplomats and count and councils from the, the 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 realm here, because you know Queen Victoria was Queen Empress, you know Empress of India, you know she was Queen Empress, and India and made them Empress. So then, um, you, you know they sent representative from this country there. So then, um, all of the important people or who was deemed to be important people would have been taken care of and would have been taken care of by the natives that were employed as servants there, you know. But Gandhi, Gandhi was educated in, I believe, if it is not Cambridge, it's Oxford, and he went back. He decided, no, I'm going to help my people. And he went and he started helping liberating, not getting involved in the politics of the time and what was important. But he, but he, he gathered information of unity and equality to bring people together. Religion, culture, tribes, people together because we are one. And after that, you know, he died. Then they were, then we had a split and all of that. But it started from a good man, very good man, very, 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 very good man. So you see, and I, up and close, is talking about the truth about people. Mother Teresa never did what she had to do. Rosa Parks. Never ever at did what she did. You see, we are talking about Barack Obama, whatever he had said. Look at Barack Obama. Barack Obama, 
is the only pr president of the United States of America that has ever asked to present his birth certificate. No other president on the, this planet has ever asked to produce their birth certificate. But Barack Obama did. And we have uh, this president here, Donald Trump. He said everything about black people, everything negative about women, everything about the Mex. He ate the Mexican. And nobody questioned his origin. Nobody wants to see his birth certificate. Now, you know, I'm not going to ask why, because, you know, I guess it is very clear. <laughs> but what I'm saying is that Barack Obama had, even though I'm not a politician, I'm a humanitarian, and that I will remain for all people, every people. But I'm saying that Barack Obama is the only first and maybe last president that they've ever harassed in that sort of a manner to show you really the kind of world that we live in and how some set of people has been deemed regardless. So you see, we have got a responsibility to ourselves to educate ourselves. To educate ourselves. To educate our children. To be able to walk in the light of freedom. To know what the people before you has gone through. When they went to Africa, and I say this loud. And very free. All those people, not many people made it to freedom. They died on the ship. I mean, they were chopped off on the ship without even dead. They were even dead. Abatrox. Go and research it. Oh, Lord. And we have a set of people that has been brought up. I've got a clue of the origin, where they came from, where they're going, what is important, and what is not important. I can go through a whole lot of history to let you understand that there's something that is important. And then there are things that are not important. And what is important is who you are. Your promise. We are living into a society, especially in today's society, that they are very quick to labor people. They ain't got nothing better to do. They don't do they, they're not interested in paying the teachers. They're not interested in to fix the roads. They're not really interested in the things that we do need. That is obvious. That is needed. And that should be done. There are people that are struggling. I speak to them daily. Struggling mothers. Struggling fathers. Struggling people. Regardless of their race and nationality, and nothing in the system is there, but who they are busy doing is to make labels, boxes, creating barriers and hindrance for people. What we need is an educated nation. What we need is to fill the colleges and the universities 
What we need is to be enlightened and empowered. What we need is a system that cares for its people. What we need. What we do need up and close. And you start from home. Where do you start? You start from home. I work from home. A lot of people believe that I, you know, oh God, look at him. He's at home. He's, no, but I work from home. You can start from home. Start from home. There's several ways for you to do and to fulfill your dreams if you try one way and that way does not work. Don't give me that excuse. Don't you dare give it to me. Keep trying. Keep knocking. Keep moving. Because it's truth and light. How can you produce truth and light without having the power to push past every obstacle, every endurance, and get to freedom? Then and only then we will have liberty, which is the truth and which is life.